Hello and welcome to Tech for PD. I'm Chad. And I'm Jim. Today we're going to talk about product data management for small businesses. All right, let's go ahead and set the stage. So Jim, why are we talking about product data management for smaller organizations today? So, so PDM is really important to help companies control access and share information. And my research has actually shown a strong correlation between business performance and companies' ability to manage product data. And some of the uh, some of the things that we've seen are companies that were able to grow revenue and profits larger during the economic recovery actually are better at data management than average companies. So yeah. important to drive business. Yeah. Well, to contrast that, it's also very important for the engineering organization. Before design release, it is absolutely chaos. I mean, engineers and designers need to try all sorts of different options and alternatives. And it lets them track what they did yesterday, the day before, what they want to keep and what they want to discard. Yeah, and well, I'm not sure that contrasts. I think that that plays into the uh, well, the yeah. efficiency of the overall business. You just you, you just want to disagree before we even debate. Um, and there, I think when you look at uh, look at solving this problem, there there are yeah. different solutions that are available, different uh, approaches even. Um, starting with um, companies that really take a document management approach to it, mm -hmm. that uh, are, are companies like a, a one desk or a team platform. Sure. Yeah. Um, that that help keep everything under control. Yeah. There's also some systems out there that let you manage your CAD data specifically. So you look at systems like Autodesk Vault, as mm -hmm. well as, you know, SolidWorks has one that's out there as well. Right. And and then you move from the um, CAD-centric view of the world to the product-centric view of the world, where you really start to bring in a, a bill of material focus. Tired definition. And, yeah. you know, and that's really where where product data management starts to evolve towards product lifecycle management. Yep. Um, and a host of companies there. I mean, you've got uh, companies like Aris. You've got companies like Arena Solutions. Yep. Um, Synergist Adept um, right. is another in that area. Yeah, as well as the big guys, too, right? So PTC's Windchill is, uh, kind of falls in that category. Right. Siemens PLM, Team Center is there as well as well as, well as Dassault's Innovia. Yeah, and, and the larger companies have offerings that are specifically targeted to the yeah, mid-sized business. So, they do. Um, and now the question is, uh, how appropriate are they for <laughs> small to mid-sized business? Yeah. All right, now All right. we can debate. So, Chad, what, what is your opinion? Do you think that PDM is overkill for small to mid-sized manufacturers? Yeah, uh, no, I don't think it's overkill, but um, I, I think you need to be careful about what you do adopt um, because PDM can span a lot of capabilities. I, I think what smaller organizations need to do is adopt the CAD data management capabilities mm -hmm. that PDM offers. Um, and I think it's it's both a personal productivity tool mm -hmm. because, I mean, these assemblies can have hundreds of files, right? right. And just keeping track of those revisions can be overwhelming. Yeah. I also think it's a work group and kind of a coordination type of tool right. as well. So that that that's my perspective. Yeah, which which I agree with your perspective, but I also think it it, it doesn't go far enough. I think that <laughs> um, if you only you know you need to manage CAD data, I, you know you just have yeah. to do that today unless you're in a, a business that you know works on specs or documents. But yeah. um, but you have to go beyond that. It, it needs to scale beyond the work group. It needs to be able. You need to be able to share information with manufacturing. You need to be able to have a broader. Uh, set of people working on the design itself, but then also as things change over time, um, you, you need to be able to share that information outside of the work group. So hmm. uh, it doesn't go okay. far enough to just manage CAD. Well, here's my issue, is that um, these smaller organizations, they don't have a dedicated IT staff. That's true. They have a very small IT budget. They can't afford to expend a lot of effort to go deploy these systems that can take a long time. And just from a practicality perspective, I just... I think you got to keep it limited in scope. Um, so that that's my concern with having something that could get much, much bigger. Yeah, and, and, and that's a valid concern, right? I mean, you don't want to get a PDM system that is overkill, but what you want to look for is simple but scalable, hmm. right? So something that can manage CAD data, but then also extend to manage bills of material, take that product-centric view, and use that as a foundation um, to, to grow over time and get more value. So, for example, something like product compliance or sustainability yeah. leverages a bill of material. Where is that bill of material going to come from? 
you know, it should be coming early in the process. It should be coming from data management, from PDM, as mm -hmm. the product's being developed. <laughs> um, developing the manufacturing build of material um, has to come from somewhere. So you take that engineering bomb that comes from CAD data management, but then you can transform that and get more value out of it by extending beyond the core engineering team and the work group. Mm -hmm. And that's really where PDM needs to focus. Interesting. Okay. All right. So, so just so I understand, you're saying that uh, you need to go above and beyond CAD data management, at least with the system, with the capabilities that doesn't have a, a ceiling that would hinder the expansion. Yeah. CAD data management is not enough for small to mid-sized businesses. Huh. It's important, but it's not enough. All right. Well, yeah, I disagree. Shock. <laughs> Shock. I know. Um, yeah, I, I think that for smaller organizations, it's it's a point of practicality. I mean, CAD data management is essential, right? So you got to get that in place. But going above and beyond, there's some alternatives out there um, that can let them do those things without right. being overwhelmed. Right. But you could also do it without making it a dead end road that once they get there, they've got nowhere to grow beyond mm -hmm. there. It's All an right. infrastructure. It's something that you can get value out of over time. Interesting. All right. Well, yeah, they get to decide who's right. So, Chad, what do you see changing in uh, product data management, specifically for small to mid-sized business over the next, say, five years? Well, what, what I think is really interesting is that um, I think we're on the cusp of a real revolution in PDM. <laughs> And not that it was started on its own. It's actually, it was instigated by CAD in the cloud. Okay. So you look at um, SolidWorks Mechanical Conceptual has PDM elements as part of it. Same sort of thing with uh, Autodesk Fusion 360. And what I think, it's a natural progression. If you already have your CAD data in the cloud, if you're creating it there, it makes no sense to get it down to the desktop to get it onto an on-premise system. So those data management capabilities are going to be there. I think it's interesting that those capabilities are going to be in the cloud, but also they're far more automated. So you actually don't hit save. You just do your work. It tracks every single thing you've done. So it's much more hands-off. Yeah, no, and, I, and I think we're going to see that simplification. I think the other thing that we're going to see is a lot of our debate today probably will go away because systems are going to become more granular. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see more modular and, and app-driven approaches so that um, doing CAD data management is not a dead-end path, that you'll be able to do CAD data management yeah. and then go beyond that to really add on new capabilities and you know extend what you've already built with, with CAD data management, as opposed to that being something that sits over on the side and, and you, can't, yeah. you can't go anywhere from there. So I, I think uh -huh. that... I think that will effectively change. That's interesting. You know, I think the other thing that plays into this is going to be, um, I guess, a move towards enterprise search. And it's almost a, a side effect of big data, right? Mm -hmm. People are starting to realize big data exists on the desktop. And if you have search capabilities that indexes all that and understands the relationships, but also, un also understands the type of data it is indexing. Right. So it knows what a CAD drawing is. He knows what a CAD model is. Right. It has visualization baked in. I think that's going to change the game a little bit. Yeah, so it has, has that context to it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and I do think there, there's going to be this struggle between search and sort of pre-organization of information. And, and I think, you know, we're going to have to always continue to drive down the path of trying to organize and keep things controlled. And as technical yeah. people, that's just what we do. Um, but at the same time, there's going to be a whole lot bigger of a safety net of being able to pull information together and pull information together that wasn't necessarily intended to be together in the first place. Right. You know, yep. from data management out to ERP or supply chain or CRM or quality management, whatever. Yeah. It and thankfully it, it can do that in the future, hopefully. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot in store. This is a pretty dynamic, you know, after years of little change in this space, PM has been the same for a long time. I think we're on the cusp of some big changes. Yeah. I think we're also on the cusp of uh, finding out who won the debate from last week. Yeah. And uh, let's take a look at our consequences. I'm here at CoFest 2013, and uh, the consequences phase, you're seeing me again because I let the word integration come out of my mouth. I still believe in it. And uh, once again, Chad won. And... 
I'm doing something silly. So as soon as the uh, sun goes down and the uh, party moves to the pool, game on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that ends our episode today. I'm not proud. Um, I would like to thank our founding sponsor, PTC. We'll see you next time. Thanks.